All right, let's get up in there. And then he just explodes. Fox, no! Yeah. <laughs> Um. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> it's not. Oh, because we are here to get a Krozoa spirit, aren't we? So they're reusing. It's the usual dungeon design. Coming off a teleporter, enter into a room that's a small square that has a ladder going up. Why is that part so consistent? Did they. Was the ladder part of their, like. They value it as like like visual myth like symbology of some sort. Like they really want that ladder. Every time you're about to get a Krizoa spirit, there's a ladder at the beginning. I just don't get it. What do elevator do? Um, yes, hello, what is my goal? Pretty please. Um, is it just fire? I don't care about fire. Fire is not dangerous in this game. Fire is only dangerous because it blows up barrels, but I didn't see a barrel. Am I supposed to just get to the end of this level? Oh look, fire. Ouchie. Oh, oh, oh. They did, they did this fire correctly. This fire actually stops you. Okay, so something's happening in this room. Oh, there it is. I must have been activating... I think I was activating ice with Y first on accident. So that when I, every time I clicked on fire, nothing was happening. I'm like, what's what, what's going on? But I think we've, we've encountered this before. What does this do? Oh, it just activates the thing at the end. Okie dokie. Hello, fire. I care not for your mischievousness. I will intentionally go the wrong way and just... Just... There what <laughs> Yeah, there's just no barrel! This entire level is contingent on the idea that fire is dangerous, and it's just not, unfortunately. Oh my goodness. Okay, game. What's going on here? Were these always in the Krizoa spirit rooms? I just never... I just went straight for the spirit each time? Look at that. That's the swamp with the light foots. Uh, moon place? That's the Sun Temple, that's where I am. Uh... The cave? Like, where the first boss fight was? Probably the best boss fight still? Yeah! The T-Rex was pretty iffy, and the other guy was just a, a spam shots at me boss fight. So that was, def that was the best temple that ended with the best boss fight, and then the game just couldn't keep up with that level of quality for a whole campaign. They're like, ah, crap, we have deadlines. <laughs> I almost wonder if the first game was better. <laughs> it makes me really curious about that leaked Nintendo 64 version. Because, like, just the idea that they made a whole game on Nintendo 64 or, like, a bunch of it or something, and then had to start over on GameCube, like, how much of it's the same and how much of it was, like, scrapped content? Like, what if parts of the 64 game are more? That'd be interesting. I've heard people say it has better music, which I'm like, that that's fascinating. 
Test 5. The Test of Knowledge. Match the items with the levels. If you succeed, I will become yours. To return to the Krozawa Palace! Okay, so no, this has not normally been the th thing. This is this level specifically. Uh, that's Pterodactyl. That's Ice. Uh... You. I can put you here. This is a, these are the little heads. The little, like, T-Rex heads that are everywhere. I think they're T-Rex heads, I guess. The horn... Okay, this goes in the moon place. That's the moon route or whatever. Oh, I guess the other one's wrong then. What's that? A rock. Cool. <laughs> Uh, was that the pterodactyl palace? That one's just like space, so I don't have to do with that one. What, what are you? A horn. I'm running out of time already. Holy shit! <laughs> what is this horn? Oh, it's a tooth in it. I can't put it down. But that one's wrong, so I lost already? It won't let me put... Do I have to start the entire level over with again? Okay. <sighs> Further encouraging me to not give a shit about the uh, the fire. Whatevs. Although if I do die enough, I'll eventually have to be worried a bit more, I guess. If I take enough damage. Was the... Hmm. Was the thing with the pillars... Was that... The Cloud Runner Fortress. Because that was the Cloud Runner Horn. Yeah, I don't think there's much going for her. Oopsie. Gotta hold that one down longer, huh? Okay, so... That might be Cloud Runner, so that's where the Cloud Runner horn goes. What was associated with you guys? So this horn was there, but that's for ice. Which one's ice? Because this is the mammoth horn? This is the moon place, right? Yeah, I put the moon thing in here and it glowed and freaked out, so that was correct. Something else goes here than what I put here. Maybe the rock or something? I don't know. Is that the ice cave? This one's just space, isn't it? What goes in space? Maybe that's where the ro that's where the rock goes. There's a meteorite, right? The meteor goes in space. I guess the maybe this is the ice level. So maybe the mammoth horn goes there. Something goes there. The moonstone goes there. We've already confirmed that one. Maybe the tiki head thing that I was in the wrong place in the other place. Because that's the sun temple and there's little heads everywhere upstairs. 
There's all these little heads everywhere. I thought that was that. But maybe it's like a totem pole thing. I'm just gonna assume this is Cloud Runner. I don't remember it very well. Sure, let's try again. They do not give you much time. Like, they do not give you much time. Considering how long it would take just to do all the laps and observe what all of them are and so on, like, giving you, like, one minute is, like, ridiculous. Maybe we'll trial and error this a little bit and just see how they react. Okay, that's the, pl that's the Cloud Runner thing. This is a space rock. Maybe it goes in space. Sure looks like a space rock. Uh, moon thing. They're even kind of like a little hard to pick out. They're not like on pedestals or anything to highlight their locations. So they kind of blend a little bit. You gotta like look at them for a bit. You're like, where's the, God damn it. Is that the thing? Okay, is this the mammoth one? Yeah. Okay, so tooth. Because you put the tooth, the teeth in there. I don't, they were much smaller than that, I'm pretty sure. Okay, and then this must be a t uh, totem pole head. Oh yeah, it looks like a light foot, kinda. I thought it was a T-Rex. Congratulations, Fox. You get to return to Krizoa Palace! And then wander around in circles for a bit, trying to figure out where the spirit goes. Yeah, but you'll probably figure it out. Me. This is it, Tricky. It's time to say goodbye. Why? I know you're right, Fox. It's just... Yeah, I know. I'm gonna miss you, too. Without your help, this mission would have failed. So I've got something for you. Prince Tricky, Earthwalker, you are now an honorary member of the Star Fox team. Dad, did you hear that? Me, a member of Star Fox. What's Star Fox? Do I get my own spaceship? Haha, <laughs> no. <laughs> I'll come and visit you soon. Just don't make it too long, okay? <laughs> He's still following me. Oh, I stopped. Okay. I make you, Prince Tricky, an honorary member of Star Fox. Prince Prince Tricky was never mentioned or seen again. <laughs> Are we like are we done? My sense of pacing's all out of the window. Partly because I don't remember that clearly how many Krizoa spirits are left. I have to like check the menu each time. Why? Why are we done with Tricky now? We don't really have an explanation. I did I miss something? I feel like they just arbitrarily were like, "Yeah, we're done with you." Let's go, Fox. Get that spirit directly back to the Krizoa Palace! I have adjusted your flight path so that you will land at the top of the palace. As soon as you get there, head down inside to release the spirit. Pepper out! Fly through one gold ring to reach Dinosaur Planet! I'm gonna play this game, this level, a hundred times at this rate. I'm guessing there's just like some reason why the level design or whatever was like inconvenient to have him around in the next level. So they're just like, eh, we're done with Tricky. We, the developers that know everything and are omniscient about this game, we've decided we're done with Tricky. So they're just going to be like, Tricky, it's time to part ways. He's like, I, I know, Fox. And like, do you? Do you? Why? Why do you know? Why would... What? You're not even done with the quest. The Earth's still a bunch of floating chunks. Fox needs you to navigate several parts of the environment. I guess those none of those are coming up after this point. I guess every single element like that is missable because now I assume you can't do those anymore if you if you want to for like secret hunting. Not that there's really secrets worth hunting, I guess. 
it's weirdly reminiscent of the idea of like what if what if like a bunch of your toolkit in Zelda got bored and left? <laughs> Like, I know, I know you liked a highest score ever, 1125. I was barely, I wasn't even trying, wow, I wasn't even trying that hard. There I go. That's just proficiency, bro. Oh, we're just landing here directly. I don't have to solve, like, some level shit. I'll take it. I don't like doing that. I wasn't sure where I was going to go next, and I guess it's because there wasn't anywhere else to go. So Tricky and Crystal never meet. <laughs> Probably for the best. Okay. Is there like a specific one I go to? Slippy here. Got yourself stuck again. Go down inside the palace and find a place to put the Place where you could not cross. Oh, cause no, I, I still, I still do go down inside. Damn it! Not Krizoa Palace. This place is a scourge. Oh, this is a down one. I thought it was an up one. Uh, what? What's new? Magoo. Um. Why are there? Why is there a, a dude here just hanging? Oh yeah, the other side's just the way back up, and that's this entire floor. I I. I kind of hate this place. <laughs> it's just so big. It's just so big and directionless. Where do you, where do you want me to go? Let's just check everywhere again. Do you find somewhere that you haven't done yet? Oh. Yes, that's the disguise one. You weren't joking about a place I couldn't open cross before. Just that's on now. Or have I gone here before? I can't remember. This looks new. Yeah, this looks new. So... <laughs> I know it's part of people's childhoods and whatnot, which is kind of fascinating because like, it's not the narrative I was expecting. Uh, this game is infamously panned, and I kind of thought I might be the one that's uncharacteristically positive about it because it's like, you know, I don't have any preconceptions about Star Fox because I don't even I never I've never I don't play the other games and don't even really like, like that genre, but I just like the I just like the character design and want to play around as him. So a Zelda is totally perfectly fine, but uh, uh, because people watch games they like in many cases. I'm, we're getting a subsection of the people that are like, oh, it's my childhood, I love it, and it's completely counter to, like, the common narrative about the game. Like, I think some of this stuff's kind of hard to defend, right? Even even for you guys. I... <laughs> the whole point of this place is to be... A, like, I, I already have my other misgivings. I've explained a lot of already about its layout and other shit. That's just kind of like, ah, where do I go? It's like Gruntilda's, it's like Gruntilda's lair, but annoying. But... In cases like this, and a few of the recent stuff that's happening, they just aren't giving me powers anymore. They couldn't keep the basic, like, formula of Zelda going, where you keep getting new abilities and powers that do things. And I'll remind you, one of my last abilities... So my most recent ability was just the Earthquake, but... The Quake Attack, but bigger. And before that was... Open a door. And then before that was... Open another door. <laughs> like, these are... These are so un unfortunate as my last three power-ups. So that on that level that's iffy. 
But now they just gave up, because like the last few things I've done, I just don't have new powers. So instead, I just have to explore, like Slippy Sled said, just, just like run around a bit, Fox, and find the part you couldn't do before. That was, they couldn't traverse. Like, not like, oh, open it with your new power. It's like, nah, it's just the thing. You kept going in that room and you're like, wow, that room, that, that room, room's untraversable. I wonder what power will let me get through there. And then it's like, nah, it just becomes traversable later for no reason. Oh, that's not rare. That's not what this is. <laughs> oh, no. Something went wrong. Like, something absolutely went wrong. And I'm get, I mean, Trouble Development is obvious, because the game got retooled twice. Once to be a Star Fox game, and once to be a, a GameCube game. It started off as a Nintendo 64 game starring a wolf. No, not wolf, but like a wolf. <laughs> Named Saber. And even before that, it was going to be, it was going to star uh, a tiger that was named Timber, which is the same tiger from Diddy Kong Racing. That was supposed to be the protagonist of Star Fox Adventures back when it was Dinosaur Planet. But before it was Dinosaur Planet, it was going to be starring Timber and he was going to be a hip and cool time traveling tiger. I'm not joking. So this was going to be a game about a time traveling tiger. And then it became a game about a wolf, uh, a, a blue wolf and a and a brown wolf that are siblings. I I think Crystal was a wolf too at the time. I don't know, but it was it was two it was two it was two siblings that you could switch back and forth between, and they and they had like maybe different abilities or something, kind of like in Jet Force Gemini. This game was basically like once it stopped being a timber game, it was going to be Jet Force Gemini. Essentially, which I'm here for. I would love to see more Jet Force Gemini style games. Like, I, I had a good time playing that game, except for just the part where it's, the completionism is mandatory is a bit of an iffy choice, but besides that, it's it's a neat game. It has like eight elements that have aged, but that's about it. Uh, but then it became a Star Fox game, and it's done in the Zelda style, and things changed. Video game history is fascinating in that way. Rarely do we have such a tr like such a detailed story of a game's bizarre development as that. I keep finding out more. I thought I knew enough about the development of this game, then I find out that it was gonna be it was gonna be starring Timber from Diddy Kong Racing, like this one character designer, the guy who created Timber and Diddy, for that matter. He he created Diddy Kong because Diddy Kong was not created by Nintendo. Uh, Donkey Kong was, but Diddy Kong was created by Rare, and specifically the developer uh, who worked one of the developers who worked on Star Fox Adventure. He he created uh, Timber for Diddy Kong Racing, and he created the character Diddy Kong. It's like Timber was going to be the main character of Diddy Kong Racing, but then. Uh, he got sidelined by Diddy, but as the developer said, he's like, Yeah, it's, I mean, a little disappointed for Timber, but it's hard to be that disappointed because I also created Diddy Kong, and I'm like, You what? <laughs> Which is just a funny detail. So that guy gets, so like, that guy gets to see his character Diddy Kong be in games like, uh, Smash. Is Diddy Kong in Smash? I think he is. Yeah, I think he is. The number of iterations this game went through is straight up comical. <laughs> it's fascinating. It's kind of incredible. The only thing more incredible than how much it went through is how much of it we know about. You don't get to learn all that stuff about games usually. It's fun. All right, battle room, clearly. Both because there's a battle stage and it's a, it's a kill door. I have entered into a period where I actually have no concept of how much game is left. Um. I've been oh. waiting for you, Fox McCloud. Yeah! You may have returned the spellstones, but the war is not over yet. Now you must face me, General Scales. Jumpa da di da ba dolce Scales, you are no longer any use to me. 
you! I demand you show yourself! I am the one you brought to Krazoa Palace. Palace! The Earthwalkers could see me, but you could not. I don't understand. No, I didn't think you would. Your desire for power overwhelmed you and blinded you to the truth inside. Now give Fox what he's looking for. Give him the final Krizoa spirit. You will regret this. <laughs> What? It was in him all this time. But that voice, I recognize it from somewhere. <laughs> Why are they cheering? Aren't they my enemies? Yeah. What? Rizoa Palace. I <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> some, some, something went wrong. Something went wrong. Something went wrong with this game. Something went really wrong. I, it, something went wrong. You, that's not... No, 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 no. <laughs> that's not something that you do because you're like, Wow, what a clever twist that's going to really blow our players' minds. You don't get to the fucking General Scales boss fight you hyped up all game and then be like, Just kidding, we didn't make that. This part's like really rapid fire, like I... I give up, I give up Tricky out of nowhere and then fittingly, like it come, the game suddenly becomes like a hyper linear point of no return type situation. Where like I'm just, I, I come straight here. So I don't go to the open world, so they don't even risk the idea of letting me into the open world. Because what if I get trapped somehow via a thing where I need a tricky ability? Not that there's that many, it's pretty much just the ability to burn things. That's the only one that really matters at this point. Uh, then I get here and they just... Just like how they started spewing portals and stuff at me without any that much new content or even justification. Now they're just spewing the uh, spirits rapid fire. Like This one I didn't have to earn. And like... No. The idea that there's somebody larger behind General Scales is a common enough ending to a game that you would do, and and it's I'm, and I don't have that much of a misgiving against that. I don't love the idea of Final Confrontations being about against some dude that the game wasn't about, because then it's like, I don't feel that invested. I don't really care that much. I want to fight General Scales. But if you were going to be like, ah, but here's the guy pulling the strings all along, you know how you would do that? You would have me beat General Scales and get the spirit from him. And then it's like, ah, but he was but a pawn. You're fall, falling into my trap or whatever. You would say that at that point. You wouldn't be like, what? You're about to fight the guy you wanted to fight all game? Uh, you win. Here's the spirit. Somebody else is the bad guy. Like, what? The fuck? Why? Don't f fight General Scales. <laughs> Obviously. Oh, I have to go find the spot again, huh? Slippy here. I have to I have to go find the spot again. Shit, sorry. I should have been running around this whole time instead of standing here. And it's not like just one of these spots, right? That'd be too convenient. Or maybe this side. Is it this side? Do these ones count? Yeah, these ones do count, okay. Yeah, I thought I did the other one at the beginning when we first saw Crystal. Okay. Whew. Yeah, no, they they just didn't... They ran out of time. They ran out of time to make a General Scales boss fight. We can, we can just watch their, like, budget and time vanishing before us. Because the first boss fight was the most interesting one, and then they keep diminishing from there.
up! Wake up! I was gonna say, get in your ship. Ah, so it's Andros, right? Like, I don't even know who Andros is, but that's Andros, right? Oh! <laughs> to this day, to see you again, Fox McCloud. Andros! And now, to destroy the Lilac system! I've got to stop it! This game doesn't even take place in the Lilac system. Wait, is the final boss fight a spaceship fight? You never taught me how to use this thing. Ow. <laughs> I don't know any tricks, really. Get ow, ow, ow! What the fuck? So, like most video games, the final boss fight is a culmination of all the skills that the game expects you to learn up until then. So, here's me aiming my fireballs and freezing them when they expose their weakness. And <laughs> oh, right. I. It's a it's a jammed in. Sudden use of a Star Fox level after a whole game of. Refusing to give the Star Fox fans the Star Fox content they wanted, suddenly the people who actually liked the game up until now are forced to play a Star Fox boss fight <laughs> instead of like one that would be anywhere near as good as the first one, basically. Which wasn't like incredible, but geez. Does that heal me or something? I'm almost dead already. Do my. At least do my Pikachus work here? What do these do? Are they just points? Show me your hand again. There we go. Yeah, don't get stuck in a corner, it fucking destroys you. But if you can avoid the corner, then you're just free. Alright, how many phases does this have? Because he just keeps respawning his hands and his gems. So this could functionally be going on forever. Surprisingly, his, high, his eyes don't seem to be weak spots. I don't know if that works for sure, but I think it does. Oh, that's new. Or did he already do that a second ago? I forgot. It's, I think it's new for this phase. Oh! Okay, we're good. Nope, 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 nope. Stop, stop. My health bar very low. Because you... Stop. Hey, McCloud. Different time, different planet, and you still need Falco's help. It's good to see you, buddy. All right, how confused are you if you're if you picked up this game and it's your first Star Fox game? Andros shows up, 
which I know is the final boss fight of 64, probably both of the first two Star Foxes, I assume. It's just a Snape man, he's head in space. I don't really know what his deal is, but that's, that. but like, he's the final boss. Then Falco shows up, you know, a character this game never explained or mentioned, I think. Who the, like, who the fuck's Falco <laughs> in the context of this game? Why can't my help, why can't my crew members that the, are from this game help? Oh, no, you know, Falco. It's like, all right. Oh, I have to start the whole fight over because I had trouble with the beginning part. My Pikachus don't count in space. All right. And he says Lilat system, so this is a battle for the fate of a system that the player hasn't seen in this game. Because I think the Lilat system is where Fox is from. Which, as far as I can tell, is not where Dinosaur Planet is. This is... really confusing of a choice. Ow. 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 Am I doing it right? <laughs> no. Oh no. Sh shoot. My best chance of avoiding rocks is shooting, not dodging. This is the dodge. I'm gonna hurt my hand playing this fight. <laughs> God, Star Fox is weird. You have like a ship and a reticle and they don't really match very much. They're weird. It's very different from other types of uh, space shooters, which I'm also bad at. Oh, cool. Good job, me. You know, Fox, space is 3D. You can, uh, go fly under those hands and shoot them right now. Ah! Nope. So silver rings don't do anything, right? They just score stuff. Okay. All right, a little hard to shoot your gem when it's shooting me. Good. Oh god. Good. Blow up. Okay. Nope. 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 How are you doing this? There's no air. Hey, cloud. <laughs> Weird. You can see my reticles from his perspective. The camera switches to his perspective, but you can see, you still see my two reticles on me. All right, my health's not doing that as, bad, as much better as I thought it would or was hoping it would. Oh god. Ah, ah they keep. Hit, how do you, I don't know how to. I don't know what to do. I can't shoot them in time or dodge them. It seems. <laughs> It's so fucking hard to tell where those things are in space. I try to pick things up and I miss. I don't I don't know how to play Star Fox. What the fuck is happening? No! Do I have to look up a tutorial on how to play Star Fox? Do I have to go play do I have to stop and play the entire Star Fox game as like practice? And then come back and beat Star Fox Adventure? What the fuck? This is the ending to a different game than the one I played. I don't know how to play this.
I know I'm pressing A a lot. Jeez. Does he have a weak spot? What the fuck's happening? Wait, we're just- aren't we just looping? Like, am I fucked? I don't know what to do. Ow, I thought going in circles worked. Oh, does he suck up the bomb, like in Zelda? Yes, he does. Yes, he do. Ow! Okay, I need to take a break. Ow! Yep, that's my hands. I, I don't I don't think the save works here necessarily. I've been pressing Ow. <laughs> it still plays the like jungle like drums theme here in space. My hand hurts from this boss fight already. Jesus. Oh he's got a health bar now. I just wasted a lead. Damn it, I had like a few foxes of health left and it would have really been helpful if I'd realized what to do. Shit. What the- <sighs> I'd be looking forward to this day to see you again, Fox McLeod. I'm sure you were, buddy. The Lilac system! I've got to stop it. Nah, I gotta pause the game. I need a break. I, yeah, I need, I need a break. My my hand hurts. Alright, we all rested up. Let's do it again. Yep, holding A does not work. Ah, uh, ow, shit. So, Andros, how does it feel to not even be Fox's greatest fear or anything? I'm just saying, there was a fight, here's your f greatest fear ever, Krizoa challenge, remember? Oh man, I wonder who was in it. Oh right, General Scales. <laughs> you dumb ape. You're not even his nemesis anymore. The guy you want to play off as your lackey was, was, was Fox's greatest fear. God, that cutscene's the closest thing to a fight with General Scales we get, huh? And I'm really bad at playing Star Fox. Nope, nope. Yeah. As somebody who hasn't played Star Fox really before, the perspective feels really weird for like the ship and the reticle and the targets and I'm just like, what? God, I, yeah. It's just so much! What the f- I've taken so much damage, no. Did I like zoom into it? What the fuck was that? I'm getting tired already. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, wait, is this the part where I'm meant to lose? Hey, wise guy, I'm on your team. But other. Cloud, different time, different planet, and you still 
still need Falco's help. Those sunglasses you, don't even fit. That's not where your eyes are. <laughs> They're not shaped like his big, weird head. They gave him human sunglasses when his head is really strange looking. Gah, 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 gah. God, it's a lot to be ready for. There it is. Ah, I got it. Boom. What? What? Okay, we're doing okay. We're doing okay, don't blow it. Are his hands not coming back? So it's... I think that means the biggest threat is these weird poop ships that shoot poop everywhere. The great and mighty poop ships. I think I... I don't think I hit once that time. That's decent chances for me. This might be it. Until he enters phase seven or whatever. Good. The perspective of this part's really weird. Oh, I almost got him. Is he trying to beat me with his brain? Like, oh, good, 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 good. This won't end well for you. Yeah. He went old Mario 64 on us for a second there. Grozoa Palace! Wait, are we cool now? What, what, what the fuck? There, there was no general sc scales. Is, is he dead? Defeated once again. You all did a great job. General Papa here. Good work, Star Fox team. I received a message from the King and Queen Earthwalker, thanking you for saving their world. Oh, and Tricky says hi. I was, however, very surprised to hear that Andros was still alive. Not as much as we were. It seems that Andros discovered the ancient power of the Krizoa, and by trapping Crystal, who had the ability to channel this power, he was able to use this energy to revive himself. At least this time we'll see the last of him. I'm transferring your fee as we speak. Ever out. Woohoo! Yeah! We can finally repair the ship! And I really need some oil. These joints are not what they used to be. And I can't wait to get back with the Star Fox team. Hey guys, you don't mind if I hang with you again, do you? 
Sure, Falco. It's great to have you back. The Star Fox team is back together again! Oh, Fox! I almost forgot! I received this message from Crystal. Hi, Fox. I really appreciate what you did for me. I'm just so sorry we didn't get much of a chance to talk. I'm left with just one more thing to do. And that's to say thank you. Well, uh, okay. Uh, I mean, sure, no problem. <laughs> You're not shy, are you, Fox? My sensors indicate Fox's temperature is rising. Are you okay, Fox? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be just fine. It's kind of a neat Falco costume. I've never seen that one before. I... Another scene dedicated to Horny Fox. What is in the world? That's the only scene where Fox and Crystal talk to each other. Is that scene. Because Crystal's in a crystal the entire game. Aptly named. Uh... Huh. No goodbye with Tricky or any of the people at the, like, the hub world. That shop really petered out, huh? I really, like, got everything I needed at the beginning of the game and then came back once for one item that I needed to continue that was caught, like, the one that cost 130. But the, we really stopped hearing from, You pay this much! After the first couple hours. What a weird game! I had a thought during that cutscene, which is I was thinking about the fact that, like, so I recorded two episodes today. Is it two episodes? Yeah, two episodes today. I'm pretty sure that I never fought anything today. Which is interesting. <laughs> like, the combat was never great, so it's like, I'm not like, oh man, let me beat up the same dinosaur again, again, again. Uh, but it's interesting, like, it just, the combat just went away for that entire amount of time. And yeah, there was no, like, final boss fight in the style of the game. Ne neither... Neither a puzzle boss fight or a, uh... Or a combat boss fight. Yeah, I'm looking at... I'm looking at the previous episode right now, clicking around in it, and yeah, I spent the entire last episode doing the Sun and Moon Temples, which were sliding block puzzles, and some other, like, okay puzzles in many cases. Uh, did it just say that Peppy and Slippy are, and will play with the same pro- Oh my god, Jay Psych played every character. Oh my god. This character- this game has four voice actors. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Yeah, yeah, I'm looking at- it. all of last episode was me wandering around on the peaceful, walled city level. Because I got cleared out of dinosaurs, so I was just slowly pu solving some puzzles. And then this entire last episode was me solving more puzzles and then then doing R-Wing combat out of nowhere. So the combat kind of just leaves the building, doesn't it? It kind of becomes this rapid-fire checklist of like, ah, we have this many McGu we promised this many MacGuffins and we have this many left, so I don't know, just start coming up with where they are. Uh, this one's inside General Scales. Uh, this portal is inside of a random dinosaur that was just sitting in the hub world. Uh, Oh, he's a guardian. Oh, there's the portal. There you go. Bye. <laughs> That's the first and last time we'll talk to that character. Ah, Andrew Wilson worked on this game. <laughs> uh, the, uh... This is so interesting. What a bizarre... What a bizarre project. It's interesting how games that... Uh... The games that are the weirdest messes are almost never games that were made really quickly. They're games that were made really slowly, like over the course of years, and things kept getting started over and 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 and, and like restarted and remixed and retooled. And there's just like things were going wrong until at the end they were like somehow rushed. Like you, the final part of the game comes out too quickly, despite the original date being so far in the past. That definitely surprised the hell out of me when they're like, Bye, Tricky! And I'm like, why? What? Wait, why? Why? Why are you abandoning Tricky on this weird area? You didn't even take him home, 
Fox, why didn't you- t you didn't even take him to his mom on the planet. You stranded him with his dad under just the hope that things work out for you. And if you screwed up and died, then you would have just been abandoning your Tricky with his dad. Which, I mean, I guess is fine. That seems to be where most of his people are, actually, but... Oh no, the good boss fight! Oh no, the boss fight that didn't happen! What a whiplash of reminders on the screen. <laughs> These... the barrels! What a beautiful game. Yeah, that wouldn't... Thematically, the giant T-Rex is cool and probably would have scared me as a kid, but... Mechanically, it was like, mmm... But that was still better than the... The dragon boss fight, which... One... Dragons aren't dinosaurs. That kind of came out of nowhere. Although I do have that theory, I'd say, every now and then, where I just, just like, I always get the feeling that maybe, like, dinosaurs, as, uh, dragons as a concept, or just people in, in encountering dinosaur bones, essentially. Just based on the idea that it's, like, a universal, it seems to be a universal thing across the world, that, that everyone has, like, their own different version of, like, a dragon idea. And I'm like, ah, oh, maybe they encountered dinosaur bones or something, and then legends grew for there or something. It feels like a reasonable uh, guess, at least, based on not looking into it. <laughs> I've said this thing way too many times and then never looked into it, but I don't, I don't care. <laughs> uh, but yeah, like a dragon, that was odd. But stranger still was the fact that it was like... It was kind of like a Star Fox bite, boss fight, but less good. And that you don't you don't fight an R wing and it doesn't have R the, exactly those mechanics, so you just spam fireballs a lot. And I didn't really try very hard, and I beat it on my first try, which is not like I definitely had to like struggle and figure out the other boss fights. But that one, I just was like, eh, you just button mash. He literally is vulnerable to damage the whole time and has no weak spot. You just shoot him a lot, and. Every now and then there's like a fire trap, and if you shoot the little thing, the fire doesn't hit you. But also, fire is not that dangerous in this game, as I keep establishing, so... Not the biggest threat at that point. Well, they give away a lot of scenes in this thing. Interestingly, the, uh, the first boss fight just looks so... He looks all insectoid and shit. He looks so much like a Jet Force Gemini enemy. In fact, like I... He reminds me of the one that's like inside of the other corpse or something. Which is a thing inside of the corpse. That's a thing that happens to the first Gemini. Oh, I know the worm wasn't a corpse because it poops you out later. Yeah, that that happens. But yeah, speaking of which, like that 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 guy had weak spots. He had multiple phases. He had a big arena that was cool looking. He ate you, and then you had to like get out from the inside of him. So they had to make a little level for you to be in when you're when you've been eaten by him, like. Just kind of those cute, weird details, and it's like, oh, yeah, yeah, here we go. A Star Fox starring uh, Zelda game by Rare. This can work, see? This is going well. And then our, our, then our hopes kind of shattered. Like, even people that, like, even people that like this game, I can, I, you gotta see the drop, right? Like that opening mine, trill that mine, uh... God. Like, you go in, you find these, like, imprisoned... You find the imprisoned dinosaurs in that opening segment, and you gotta find, like, the one of them that's the leader, and they all the characters are, t like, are setting up what's going on and who you should be looking for, and you, and you go through this big mine dungeon to find her, and it's a little weird that she goes through the wall, like, she could always escape, but whatever, and, like... You're just going through the stage after stage, and like, and like her father, and like all these different stages, and then you fight that big insectoid dinosaur monster that has like all this stuff going on, and it's like, okay, like, it's so clearly like there was one part of this game that was like what the whole game should have been, and then it just kind of stops being there to the point where they just straight up, they just straight up don't have a general scales boss fight. Ooh. That's really hard to stomach. I thought it was a little weird that there was never like a... And here's how we establish he's a true menace. What a threat he is. That General Scales like early fight that, you're, that you quote unquote lose or whatever after like fighting for like 30 seconds. That, that's often like a trope. 
And the answer is because they never made any move set for general scales because there was never a fight with them. And I'm like, oh no, that's not the answer I wanted. You know, it's, I feel like sometime around Cloud Runner Fortress, maybe even like in the middle of Cloud Runner Fortress, the quality level kind of drops off and the game just like stops having new content. And it was already a little shaky up to that point. But that's when it got really rough, is when they just stopped They stopped having new levels, but like half of the MacGuffins or more were still remaining. So like you still had like half of the 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 Earth Shards or whatever, and like the and most of the Krizoa Spirits were still unaccounted for. So the game just goes into this rapid fire mode of like, uh, okay, get another shard and then go back to the same temple and go left this time. And a slightly different version of the same thing, thing you did before will happen. I was so taken aback because I've played so many games in this style before that, like, when I was going back to the Fire Temple area, I was genuinely like, am I doing this right? I think I miss- I must have misunderstood something, right? They can't want me to go back to the same Lava Temple. I must have, like, misinterpreted something, and I was about- I was ready to be like, okay, I gotta edit this episode, because, like, this is just such a long tangent of me going the wrong way. And, and that kind of- that thought kind of persisted almost all the way up until when I was putting the stone in, and I was like, oh, I did it. I... Oh, that felt wrong the whole time. <laughs> well, that was Star Fox Adventures. Despite my tone, I, I'm really happy I played it finally. I finally get what this game is, and it's like... It's like in certain ways better than people are willing to admit it is, and in certain ways so much worse than I could have imagined in certain directions. Like, it's it's such a, it's still such a mixed bag of confusing. It's not bad for the reasons I expected it to be. It's bad for completely unexpected reasons. Re things that I've never seen, like, in a Rareware game. And I, I mean, I'm not a completionist. I haven't played every single one ever, but, like, this surprised me a lot in the weirdness of what it is. Huh. And now we know.